Hello, <clears throat> gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video. We're going to get back to the jewelry, but first I want to show you what I did on my nails. We have a iridescent rainbowy underneath with black hex, and then we have nearly black underneath with rainbowy flakies and white hexes. So, this is uh, ILNP Mega with So Elegant on top. I think you can see that, right? Very, very shiny, pretty. And then this one is Rubba Dub, Rubba Pub Pub underneath. Uh, it's a black, like a black, deep charcoal, not really black. Uh, cream, creme, and then on top of that is OPI's Snow Globe Trotter, which is really cool. It's got the big white and little tiny white hex glitters in it, plus it's got these big flakes of iridescence. So, we did iridescent with black over top, and then we did black with iridescent and white over top and I had to match the nails to the rings bring it all together and now we're gonna get started on the jewelry let me go back out thing is there have been a few things that I've kind of let go a little too cheap lately so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to not giving you prices you know my prices are fair, but I need to be able to research before I give you a price on anything. So please don't, please don't worry about it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start jacking my prices stupid high, but um, I want them to be fair. So we're just gonna show you the pretties, and if still, if you want one, want something, um, speak for it, and I will uh, do the research and let you know. Okay, so let's get started. This, uh, and more so, this particular box, because it's all signed vintage, and I'm not 100% sure on a lot of them. Um, there are certain ones that I'm pretty sure of, the ones that are kind of, uh, you find very often, and they're kind of ubiquitous. This is not very ubiquitous. I've never seen this one before. This is a Monet. From a certain time period. I do not know which time period. But it's the really shiny. White ball. Plastic ball. And I know. That the necklaces that go to this. Are a dime a dozen. But I've never seen. The matching bracelet before. So that is a really cool one. And so far. Just about everything in this batch. Has been in great to excellent condition so that is another um another parameter that i need to keep in mind when i give prices this one is exactly eight so that's cool very nice and i mean i don't mean to be like on the horse, off the horse, whatever, with the prices, but I, I got to thinking about it, and it's really hard to um, research things while you're doing a video. Now, there's plenty of boxes and things that I get that I'm really pretty sure of that I could do the prices with. Um, just don't expect it to be every single thing. Um, this is really cool. It is one of a kind. Artisan made. I did test it. It is not sterling, but it is copper, brass, and silver tone. Very modernist. Really cool. I like that one a lot. Very cool. Because one of a kind pieces are kind of fun. Alrighty. Oh, look at this. To see this is Monet and I've never seen Monet with that much sparkle really. Usually, the ones that I get are usually um, 
just the gold tone ones, probably because of the guy that I buy from. He pulls out the really special pieces for his booth, so I never get to see any of them. But this is really stunning. Really nice. And it's vintage Monet. It's not the new stuff. It's in perfect shape. Yeah, look at the block letters on that. They're, that's the uh, older one, I think. So pretty. Okay, stop staring at it. I can't stop staring at it. What's this? This is more what I'm used to seeing for Monet. This, this kind of stuff. It may or may not be Monet, but... But it is these little leafy earrings. These might be Sarah Coventry. No, they're Monet as well. You can definitely tell by the backs. These these kind of backs are definitely Monet. These are in perfect condition. And I will do those for four. I get a lot of that kind of stuff. This one, no, not that one. So many earrings, oh my gosh. Here's a necklace. This one is a Napier. Napier. It is the Panther Link Choker. That is. Speaking of ubiquitous, uh, this one is really, really, um, it's everywhere. I've gotten so many of these, and I've gotten so many of them, not just Napier, um, Monet make the, makes them, and Sarah Coventry makes them, and this one is 16 and a half. Sixteen and a half. And I did happen to look this one up. You never guess what it's going for. It's going for sixteen. I think. Really pretty. We'll do that for eight. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, you're pretty. I bet you've got stone missing still. I bet you do. Which is a cry and shame. Oh, that's what that came off of. Lord. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is stunning. But I'm so sad because it's missing stones. And it is a... Very tiny writing. What do we got? 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 Nope. This one is Coro. And it's got several other marks on it as well. It's a large. Apparently they did sizes on their jewelry early on um, because this one says it's a large so let's see what an actual Coro large from 1950 whatever is we're all gonna laugh you know it it's probably just 18 18 inches you're a beast let's see <laughs> It's 17, meaning one inch larger is a large. Actually, it's marked with an L. I don't know if that means it's a large or not. But let's see what we're missing. One. Two. Three. It's only missing three stones in that beautiful piece. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to look that one up. And those are odd colors of stones, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to find any to go in it. You are welcome to try if you so desire. Ooh, this is nice. Please let me see what color, or who you do belong to. Who you do belong to? Monet. And that's the oval tag, which is, I don't know what era that is. Man, I need to do some research, but this is absolutely pristine. Heavy as all get out. Gorgeous. I mean, I'm not really, a, it's like, okay, I don't wear the, the rope chains, but they feel so nice in your hands. I can just imagine they feel really great on your neck as well. Let's see, this one is the 23, yes, 23, it's probably touted as a 24, but it skimped a little there at the end. Oh my gosh, it weighs a ton. Um, this is not usually the thickness that you get with these. This is a hefty, honky one. Great for keeping on hand for your big bailed pendants that you come across. Showcase your pendants. This one is stunning. It's an APL. It is three S chains. It's got a fold over clasp. Whoop. Clasp is nice and tight. The only thing wrong with it is a tiny bit of wear on the actual clasp. Everything else is perfect. And it comes down to this little gather point, and there's six in the, in the uh, tassel. So that is understated and simple, but really feels nice. This is another quite heavy one. I um, believe this is back when they cared. I mean, back in the 50s when this type of thing was made. Or the 60s. This must be might be a 60s one. Very nice. I love it. Another one that feels yummy in your hands. Speaking of yummy, anybody go for some pineapple? Whoa, pineapple. Look at that. Stunning. Look at that. It's just screaming. Oh, I am sparkly. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, this one is a pin pendant. It is by Garnet. G-A-R-N-A-Y. I don't know if you can see that. And I have looked this up. I have looked all around, all around, all around. The only one that I could find, without being on worth point, because I'm not, um, was going for $50 on Etsy. Or, I can't remember, it might have been Poshmark. Going for $50 on Poshmark. But it's stunning. I've never heard of the brand. And um kind of in love with it. It's gorgeous. Another one I got to play with because it's so sparkly. And this one is signed Reed 93. Now is that 93? 93? It is, I have tested it, it is sterling, so, um, it looks hand-signed, so, it might be a, also a one-of-a-kind sterling piece, so. Hello, darling. Hello. How are you? I was going to make a sarcastic comment about it, but I'm, I'm, I'm tapped out. You're tapped out of sarcastic remarks? Let me grab some ice cream and I'll see what I can Are you Okay. <laughs> Something's wrong with my boy. Ooh, look at this one. Speaking of sparkle, sparkle, sparkly. Ooh, Ooh is that all you come up with? A sparkly. Oh, this is nice. It's got it's open in the back, so you get the light through it. 
It feels like crystal. It's very heavy. It looks like an earring to me. Oh, ha ha ha, you're funny. That was weak. Weak, I tell you. This has an N on it, and I can't remember the name of this company. I know what it is, but I can't remember. Men and boys. It's not Napier. It's Nate. I'll figure it out and let you know. But hopefully there's two of them. That would be good. Ooh. This one is unmarked. Wait, no, it is marked. Marked, marked. Trafari. Resin. Blues and golds. I think it's the new Trafari. Newer Trafari. So we're going to do this one for six. Yeah, buddy. Oh, hey, look at these guys. Whoa, they're rough. These are... Probably South South Sea Pearls on a stretchy, which is unheard of. Mmm. Interesting. Oh, got a hair. We have another button cover for in the button cover bag. This one is a little bit askew. Come on, you know you want to. Something is wrong with it. Oh, wait, there it goes. Ha ha. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay, this is a brand I've never heard of. Hey, why did my computer just go off? Oh, wait, no. No, it didn't. It's just a screensaver. Oh, my God. Rafina. Rafina? What? Is that an A? Yes. R-A-F-F-I-N-E with an accent. Raffine. 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 Let me look that up real quick. Just for funsies. Because I've never heard of that brand. And it's a shame that one of them is broken. Clip earring. My videos would be way too long if I did this for every item. Signed Rafine, silver tone, nail head clip on. No. Okay, Etsy. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Click. Come on. Oh my gosh. There we go. Eh, they're not going for a whole lot. Between eight and. 28, but that's uh, oh, wait, wow, Rafine Starfish $44. What the heck? These are very nondescript though, and they're broken. So, if you would like to fix them, be my guest. It came undone from the thingy there. Boo hoo. No idea. But most of their stuff is going for higher. Which is not surprising. Ooh. Knotted. Faux glass pearls in a nice shade of gray. Silver gray. And marked... What have we here? Oh, it's that one with the with the butterfly. It's a Sarah Coventry, but it's is that a new tag or is that a seventies tag? I need to research my tags on some of this stuff because I don't get I never get enough of it to really know. Um, but this whole box is all just about all signed vintage, so that is really really pretty. Gorgeous thing. Wait, let me see how long. Let me see how long it is. It looks to be about 40 inches. I'm gonna say. 
50. Closer to 50. Let's see. It's 24 and 20. Ah, 24 and 24. So, it's 48 inches. Very nice. And that kind of goes with it, but not really. It's too dark. Dark charcoal leaf. Too much. Ooh. There's a fly in here. I miss you, Susan. She was always the one to talk to me about the bugs. Okay, this is a hand-done cloisonne. They bought some beads and they put them together. Put them together. I think the same person that made that uh, cloisonne and seed bead necklace that I had a bit ago made this. Because I think they both came out of the same box. Very nice. Sweet. Sweet. Where are we going? Very large, very, very um, taupe with a very 1960s frame. These are, are they marked? Let me see. Listener. These are listener earrings. This one looks like it was re-glued, I think, or is that just, that's just wear, I guess. It's pretty cool. Oh, wait, this one has the, this thing on it, and this one doesn't, but those are really cool, 1960s listener. Sweet. Sweet. These are cool. Wait, what is this? What? These are put together wrong. Wait, what? Oh, these are reversible. Look. That side. And then, oh, we're going out to dinner after work. <laughs> That's fantastic. Or, oh, I need to take my apron off and put on my lipstick. And flip my earrings, because hubs will be home in five minutes. <laughs> That's more the speed, I'm pretty sure. Patent, 1967965, or 05. There is some um, swirly bits there. It does not have a na Oh, yes it does. Sarah Coventry. Wow, I gotta look those up. Those are so fun. I hope there's another one in here. I do, I do. I do, I do, I do. Ooh, look at this. This is a... Oh. I can't get this to... Hmm, seems like the sword's too short on this one. It's not even reaching. So it might be bent. It might be able to fix it, but it's a nice little crescent moon. It's a Sarah Coventry, and I can, I'm pretty sure I can fix that. Yes, indeed. Ooh, this is fun. Mother of Pearl. It's got some Japanese, looks like Japanese sugar beads. They have a sugared texture. It's very small. It's handmade with red pearls. And it's tiny. So I'm going to say some little tween girl made that with some nice beads. Oh, look. <gasps> Pretty snowflake. Pretty snowflake. Let me see if there's any words on it. No words, but let's see about stones. All the stones are there. 
adorable. Not fine though. And we're gonna go a little long, I'm pretty sure, because I can't stop. I can't stop. This is a little. Rawr. Come on now. Ooh. Purpley one. This is an alpaca. I can never read the stamp, but I'm pretty sure it's alpaca. This is a little rosy pin with leaves. Circle pin. I did have a circle pin collection at one point. I haven't added to it in a while. This one is Sarah Coventry as well. Yeah, buddy. Little silver tone guy. That's cute. I think we'll go to 30 today. What do you say? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Uh -huh. Oh, what are you? Let me guess, you're a Napier. Because I was looking at Napier stuff and I think I saw this one. Online. Yep, there it is, Napier. I don't remember what the price was for it, though. Textured, squared off, chain link. <laughs> Excuse me. That's awesome. Sweet. I was shocked when I was looking at Napier on Etsy. It's going for way more than I thought it would. This is gorgeous. Look at that chain. It's like a double interlocked. It's not quite curb chain. It almost looks like a chain mail pattern, like a very, very interesting. Let's see. And this is not a fold over. It is a, it's one of these guys with the, with this thing. Wait, what? No, hold on. There we go. It's the one that has the little knob on it like that. Okay, this is really cool. I don't see a name on it. Greg. That looks like a brand name. This is New York World's Fair, which was when, I don't remember. 60. So I'm going to assume it was 1960. And then a little girl's head. And there is no name on this. I'm very shocked by that. Is there a name on the back of this? Maybe. 12 karat gold filled. This one is not. This one is... 12 karat gold filled. This one is not. So, that's an interesting one. And if you are uninterested in the charms, the bracelet is pretty fabulous. Real heavy. And in great shape. Like a lot of the other ones I've been pulling out of here. I'm liking this box is amazing and I'm not even I'm not even halfway done like it's huge there's a cute little alpaca say hey Mexico on the back very nice I think two of these are in there don't quote me on that <laughs> alrighty um, we're at 29.30 so I think we're going to stop here. I want to thank you all for being here. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the down there. And if you see something you can't live without, please do leave a comment with the timestamp in the comments below. Um, 
Yeah. Or if you would like, you could send that same information to my email, which is in my description. But if you do that, please do send me uh, the title of the video and the date that it was posted so that I can find your items. And if you haven't bought from me before, please include your name, your address, your PayPal email, and your YouTube name. That way I can match up your items or match up your names. Get your invoice out to you and get your items in the mail to you. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.